guys welcome once again to my youtube channel a platform where we share ideas uh, in the context of technology programming and uh, the latest trends in the invention and the tech world so today uh, it's another series again just uh, revolving around and pesa integration but today we are going to continue from where we stopped last uh, for those who have not watched my previous video you can just follow me on youtube at kentech uh, just watch the latest video that I have released that is M-Pesa Integrated Automatic Vending Machine where uh, I simulate uh, a, a vending machine and uh, in the same video I integrated it with a, with a, with a, with a Wi-Fi model but as you can remember I didn't, I didn't complete on the actual uh, SDK pushing and uh, the actual payment process so today I'm going to continue and finalize on that on that uh, on that step that I left with. Uh, that is uh, sending an SDK push to the user or to the customer after he has entered his uh, phone number into your vending machine. So we are going to to program the ESP Wi-Fi module to send the data to your servers and hence send uh, an SDK push where the user will be able to pay so i also want to thank you all of you who have subscribed to my videos uh, to my youtube channel and have watched and liked my videos thank you for the positive comment that i've received uh, not only in kenya but uh, even in even uh, outside africa i just want to say that i'm really uh, encouraged by all your comments so without wasting much time today i'm going to share with you on how you can actualize to send an sdk push to your phone number in the previous video we managed to get uh, uh, the user's phone number where we were we were able to to uh, request the user to enter his uh, phone number through the, the keypad and which was displayed on the LCD screen so today uh, as I as, I've, uh, as I as you can see on the screen there is this project that I showed you last time I'm just going to uh, have a, a small recap on it but I will continue from where we stop uh, so uh, it is take, it's taking quite some time to load my internet is low so this is the project that we were uh, we discussed in the previous in the previous video so the user uh, managed to key in his values we displayed the values and uh, and we but we didn't uh, manage to actualize the the ESP part, the sending of the data to the internet. So that is what we are going to do today, and I hope you will be able to follow uh, the steps and uh, all that is entailed in this video. So I'm going to sh to start. First of all, for those of you who don't understand what an SDK push is, these are uh, SDK push is just a trigger by a server to your phone uh, that allows you or send you an, a new SSD code it sends you a new SSD code into your into your into your phone number and uh, it requests you to enter your M-Pesa pin and after you've pressed OK and uh, the, uh, the M-Pesa pin is validated and uh, a transaction is going to take place where the amount that the the retailer has a preset uh, in his back end will be deducted from your mpesa balance account so today i'll just uh, conduct a simulation of what we uh, we expect from this video so with me is an esp32 wi-fi module uh, although on the previous video I was using ESP8266 uh, for easier programming and uh, easier for and for more pins of adding uh, an LCD screen, I'm going to use an ESP32. They all function the same, but this is quite uh, more is uh, it's more powerful than ESP8266. So we have an LCD screen and that is I2C enabled. And here is the program. So I'm going to run the simulation. And uh, as I'm running the simulation, I'm going to uh, to run. Uh, I'm going to run a, 
a mobile an android mobile simulation so that you can see what is happening on my phone so it has connected so guys once again i'm going to show you uh how to uh, what is happening here so there's kuna mchango inaendelea kwa kanisa and the messages are just too much anyway so uh, <laughs> Let's do it again. As you can see, it is timed and uh, I don't want to waste much time. Let me see. Where is the file? So here it is. So we are going to run the simulation once again and see what happens. So as you can see, the, uh, this is my phone here. And, and when, when the SDK push will be sent, we will be able to see what is happening. So it is connecting to Wi-Fi. When the Wi-Fi is connected, it will send the request to the uh owners uh, providers i mean as you can see on the screen it is requesting me to pay some amount it has sent me an sdk push to my phone as you can see on the screen and it is requesting me to pay uh some amount some amount let me let me press let's see do you want to pay uh a one kenya one bob kenya <laughs> one bob, what, what am i saying one Kenyan shillings to uh, DC, uh, DCIL account uh, number, Kentech, account number, it is Kentech. So when you, when you, when you press, uh, when you say, let's say you place your M-Pesa pin, M-Pesa pin, let me see, let me see, when you place your M-Pesa pin and press send, you will see uh, a confirmation message telling you that you have uh, successfully paid some amount to let's see if this the message has been sent let's go to messages let's go to messages let's go to messages i hope you've seen that i've received an sdk push on my phone i'm just going to close the simulator i'm just going to disconnect the simulator and uh, let's continue with our videos. So I'm going to disconnect the simulator. I'm just going to close the simulator exit. So guys, this is what is happening. This is the program. Uh, there's, uh, there are two things that are happening here. So we are having an ESP32 which helps us connect to Wi-Fi. Then uh, we are receiving the phone number input, the user's phone number from the previous section uh, in the last video where we had a, a keypad and an LCD screen just like this one. And the user typed in his phone number and the phone number is sent to this side. When I receive the phone number as string variable, uh, I connect it to server. My the whole program is connected to my uh, uh, w, WPS uh, program, WPS uh, website, which is w, uh, not WPS website. It's connected to WordPress website, which is www.project.mymarket.co.ke, and there's a file name called Insert Data. So this file uh, this file uh, insert data receives the phone number as a get request uh, or a post request and it feeds it on the database after i call that file let me just show you that file and uh, let me show you let me just show you that file here it is we are having this file here which is a uh, you have to bear with me a little bit uh, my internet is quite low let me reload it so the phone number that you've obtained from your previous uh, simulation is brought to this place then you can connect it to you can connect it to uh, uh, your HTTP client as you can see here we are connected we are after you have connected to Wi-Fi uh, you initiate an, uh, a HTTP uh, and a HTTP object uh, then you run it 
I've faced a little bit of difficulties trying to access uh, the secured accounts that is HTTPS that because of security reasons and uh, so I decided to run my files and uh, change everything into HTTP which is a little bit uh, easier to deal with so here is my program that runs uh, the whole thing first of all I received the phone number that is sent through the get request I, I after receiving the phone number I send I convert it uh, into the the unique form that is the 254 and uh, uh, you know the country code before the phone number uh, rule so I send the phone number to this uh, to this uh, uh, to this uh, code here where I first get the the token authorization token you cannot just run a, a m pesa request without getting an authorization from the providers and that is safaricom developer option so you first create an auth authorization token and request for you, you request for authorization token by sending the consumer secret and consumer key plus the pass key to your apis on Daraj api and they will send you an sdk uh, an authorization token which will allow you to access the different uh, endpoints of the API and th at this point I'm using uh, I'm using uh, I'm using a customer to business that is pay bill so whenever whenever uh, a, a, a REST API request is uh, made an SDK push is sent to the phone number that has been provided uh, there before so the SDK is sent to the phone number as I have shown you the SDK is sent to the phone number after the payment has been done I get all the details about the payment uh, on my back end uh, from uh, the details of the payment are sent into um, uh, a file known as mpesa uh, callback URL so this is the details of all the payments and transactions that have taken place. So I get the transaction type, the transaction ID, transaction time. I can get the time that has uh, the transaction has take place, taken place, the amount that has been paid, the business short code, the uh, brief uh, reference number. You can also get the account balance. You can also get the phone number that has sent the amount and the name. Of the person that has sent the amount after getting the amount and the, all the details that you need I, I then I then send the details into the database uh, that is PHP MySQL database I'm going to show you uh, the details that I've sent into the database oh, Wow this internet is failing me so here is my PHP database. As you can see, I'm getting all the details that I need. Actually, I'm not. I'm not uh, sending all the details to this place. I'm just picking the essential one. That is the payment date, the amount paid, and uh, the vendor ID and the payment method. So I, I have all the details on my database. I can do. I can send the details into my. Uh, web-based uh, uh, admin panel where I can display to my vendors uh, whatever transaction has been taking place so it is that simple or it can be complicated uh, depending on how you choose to look at it so that is it I'm sending an SDK push from my ESP32 Wi-Fi module so it has connected so guys, once again, I'm going to show you uh, how to, uh, what is happening here? So there's kuna mchango inendelea kwa kanisa and the messages are just too much. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> let's do it again. As you can see, it is timed and I don't want to waste much time. Let me see. Where is the file? So here it is. So we are going to run the simulation once again and see what happens so as you can see the 
this is my phone here and when when the sdk push will be sent we will be able to see what is happening so it is connecting to wi-fi when the wi-fi is connected it will send the request to the uh, owners uh, providers i mean as you can see on the screen it is requesting me to pay some amount it has sent me an sdk push to my phone as you can see on the screen and it is requesting me to pay uh, some amount some amount let me let me press let's see do you want to pay uh, a one Kenyan one book Kenyan <laughs> one book what, what am I saying one Kenyan shillings to uh, DC DCIL account uh, number can take account number it is can take so when you when you when you press uh, when you say let's say you place your mpesa pin mpesa pin let me see let me see when you place your mpesa pin and press send you will see uh, a confirmation message telling you that you have uh, successfully paid some amount to let's see if this the message has been sent let's go to messages let's go to messages let's go to messages 